So I went vegan unexpectedly. This is not something that I ever thought that I would be doing. And then when I got to Amherst College, my sophomore year, our Black Student Union brought Dick Gregory to campus. This was 1986. We knew he was a civil rights icon, comedic genius, but we didn't know that he had become vegetarian and then vegan because of the practice of nonviolence during the civil rights movement. All of these college students from the five college area are in this big hall to hear him speak, and he's talking about why black folks in particular should go vegan. What got me about Dick Gregory's talk, it wasn't just about Food. It wasn't just go vegan for your health. It was, this is why you're eating this way. You may think it's personal taste. You may think that your family is eating this way just because, but there is a reason, and it is by design, that these are the foods that are available to you. And it is by design that you don't know that they're unhealthy. So for me, it was specifically about health freedom, liberation, justice, and food was a part of that. I'm Tracy McWhorter. I am a public health nutritionist, an author, a speaker, and a vegan lifestyle expert, and I'm from Washington, D.C., and I've been vegan for 30 years. By the time I graduated, I came back to D.C. My sister, Maria, and I, we just became like partners in vegan crime. And we started because people started asking us how we were eating. And we had a friend and he told us that we should do a website. So this was early days of the internet. So we started thinking about it and he helped us implement it. And so we launched the first version of our website in 1997. It was the very first website by and for black vegans. And one of the first ever vegan websites, period. And then we decided to update it to create what we called an online magazine. And it was about all aspects of veganism. We did that from 1997 to about 2005, 2006. And then I found out about this public health nutrition program at New York University and decided to apply. Got in, became a public health nutritionist, and that is how I started working with the Vegetarian Society of DC. They had launched a program called Eat Smart. So that was my first opportunity to create a community-based vegan program, primarily low-income black folks from all four wards of the city. The way that I approached creating the curriculum is similar to the way that Dick Gregory did his lecture. I knew that if I connected the dots, why there's a proliferation of targeting junk food to black folks. People could see that food is just another system that benefit the affluent and not low-income folks and not people of color. And so when I did that, people got it. And then our 30th anniversary of being vegan came up. Mine, my mother's, and my sister's. And because my sister and I had done so much together over the years, I thought about asking my mother if she would write this book for me to give the perspective of a black woman from Camden, South Carolina, who'd been vegan for 30 years. It was important for people to see this as something that was joyous. I didn't want people to see this as another burden. When you're ready to do it, if you want to do it now, if you want to do it later, this is how you do it. Once you know how to eat and you can actually figure it out and do it and make it affordable and delicious, you increase the chance that you and your family are going to be healthy for the rest of your life. And that's freedom.